meditation corners and a couple seconds you're gonna see a little video of what my meditation corner looks like in my room and hopefully it gives you guys a little tips on what to look forward to building your meditation corner like okay welcome back as you see in our meditation corner I have a couple different things to start off with, I have a Himalayan salt rock lamp, which is really hard for me to say. And this is the fifth take, so amazing, Kiana, for getting that. <laughs> I have a Himalayan salt rock lamp in my corner that helps me focus when I'm meditating. I also have a couple different candles. Most of them I get from holistic companies that have different herbs in them that burn when I'm meditating that helps me keep focus and channel different energies while I'm meditating and we'll talk about those in different episodes um, coming in the future so tune in for those but majority of the time Key gets her candles from the Dollar Tree because the Rona is real and I'm on the budget and nonetheless it really doesn't matter where you get your candles from as long as they are something that you like and they smell amazing and there's something to keep your focus another key thing to keep your focus when you're meditating that's the one of the biggest things it's just focusing on something keeping your eye gaze on something so get you some candles they don't got to be expensive another thing that i have in my meditation corner are my bean bags on my bean bags i have covers i don't have covers because i get cold i have these covers because these are covers that my mother gave to me when i was younger my mother passed when i was 15 so that was about 11 years ago now of breast cancer and that really affected me and I suffered a lot of anxiety and depression after that uh, which also triggered my PTSD hence why I said it in the last episode which is another reason why I started meditating back to my meditation corner I have a rug the rug is just for decoration some people keep them in their corners because they like to sit on them and if you like sitting on the bare floor get you a nice rug to sit on okay I have another thing that's just says never stop the glare is really horrible but just an inspirational post I keep a lot of those around my house if you know me if you've been here I have a lot of inspirational posts around the house that keep me going when I'm down on myself I think they're amazing uh, and that's about it I keep my corner pretty pretty simplistic uh, because I don't like having a lot of stuff over here it keeps my head clear a lot of people keep plants in their meditation corner which I think is bomb but Kiana's horrible at growing plants. So it's not for me, but if you're amazing with plants or if you want to try growing plants in your meditation corner, they're amazing for attract, attracting good energy in your corner. So I think they're amazing. Get you a couple plants, throw them over there. They add aesthetic to the corner if you like decorating. And they're amazing for drawing good energy. So get you some. Another good thing for your meditation corner, a great tip is to keep it next to a window, a natural light source because natural light attracts positive energy and that's something that you really want to focus on when you're meditating because you're trying to focus and get all those great parts of life in you and all the negative energy out. And that's the whole logistics of my corner. So moving forward, my special trip and trick of the day is my Himalayan salt rock lamp. You see that in the video, it's a big glowy thing in my corner and it's freaking amazing. They're said to, to actually take negative energy out of the air. I don't know how true that really is, but I hope it really is true because I'm not crazy. Because I think it works. I think it brings great vibes to my rooms in my house. And ever since I've had one for myself, I think that it's... It changed my aura. It changed my energy. I feel like my air felt different. It made meditating out a lot easier. It made being in my house by myself a lot easier. That might be because I'm scared of the dark. So that might be it too. But <laughs> nonetheless, I really do think that it clears my air. I think it helps bring out negative energies. And a lot of my friends who have them say that they work for them as well. And if you're interested in getting you one, 
I can't tell you where I got mine from because it was given to me as a gift. What I can do is drop a couple great links below though, which are to some pretty bomb Himalayan salt rock lamps that I wish I had. They're not really expensive, so I think you guys should go out and look at them, do some research on your own. Uh, if you are unsure about buying some, and let me know in the comments below what you think about them, okay? If you think they're stupid and they don't really work, or if you think they're amazing and they can have great properties, I want to know. I want to know what you guys think about it. Moving forward, again, the music in the background is Keys Vibes on Apple Music. I'm trying to get something for you Spotify users. I'm not content you know competent and that type of stuff but i'm gonna figure it out because i love y'all okay so again keys vibes on apple music is the playlist playing in the back i think it's amazing i use it for my meditation and when i need to clear my mind this is the soundtrack that i listen to i also forward it to my a lot of friends and they think it's bomb too so download that if you can Moving forward, I'm going to be doing a lot more meditation techniques in the future videos. Today, it was just a little disclaimer video to give you some tips and tricks of getting into meditating and being comfortable when you're doing it. So I thought I should do this first. Please, please, please leave comments below on what you want to think about. And don't do that because I almost forgot to tell you my daily mantra, which is don't be too uncomfortable becoming comfortable. Okay? And that's exactly what I was about to do. Because I'm low-key uncomfortable recording this video. And I'm rushing, which made me almost forget. Stop working so hard that you forget what's really important to you guys. Okay? Don't die working yourself for a person who didn't care about you. Take your vacation. Take your personal time. Take that 20 minutes in the day to breathe. Meditate. Have a drink. Not promoting that, but if you need it, sometimes it's needed. Take care of yourselves. Please, please, please tell me what you would like to see in the videos going forward. Uh, any suggestions, any music that you would like to hear on the playlist, anything, anything, anything. I would really love and appreciate it. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. I just want to let you know that the light in me sees and appreciate the love and light in you guys. I can't wait to see you guys again. Peace.